Shuttle buses continue to rule the road along the entire Orange Line route. It's been just over one week since the month-long repair project got underway, and Governor Baker wants to see how it's going. Tomorrow, the governor will get a status report on the first week of the Orange Line shutdown and the progress made. The shuttle buses seem to have worked well so far, but there will be more strain on the system as kids start heading back to school in the coming days. WBZ's Brandon Truitt has the story. One by one they rolled in, shuttle buses working like a revolving door near government center, servicing orange and green line riders impacted by shutdowns. Yeah, I'm taking a shuttle bus to um, community college and from the act walk to my house. Jonathan Najibchi has been taking the shuttle buses all week and has learned to lean into the positives. He says the buses arrive faster than the trains. The average difference um, for the time was about 10 to 15 minutes for the train to come, but now it's it's been reduced to uh, about, you know, three to five minutes. The MBTA releasing these images of their crews at work, trying to show the public this month-long closure is going to be worth it. The impact felt on the roads, too. Bus-only lanes created all over the city. State Street reduced to one lane for traffic. Kind of hard because I got to wake up more early. 11-year-old Grace Burgos is bracing for a return to school. She'll have to take the buses to get to class and has been practicing her route. I gotta go to that station, to that one, and I get really confused in which way I'm going. Blue bikes, a popular option. The city covering the cost of the first 45 minutes of each ride is an alternative to the T. Racks in town nearly empty. The company telling WBZ they're doing record business. It's all a bit overwhelming for Carl Sorensen from Denmark who just landed Saturday and with no cell service is rolling the dice to get to Somerville. I mean, I don't understand anything because uh, <laughs> it's really hard to figure out where you should go if you want to take the square. There's no signage. And Governor Charlie Baker will be giving out his own progress report on the work on Sunday afternoon. That's when he's going to get a personal tour here at the State Street T-Stop. He is slated to speak with reporters after that assessment. In Boston, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.